As a beginner in anything, you're going to make mistakes. When I first started feeding raw, I couldn't find many blogs or videos that gave tips for beginners. So I mainly found my way through trial and error. But that doesn't mean everyone has to. So if I were to give you three top tips that I wish that I had when I started raw feeding, the first would be to listen to your pet's body. It's serious business feeding a homemade diet. Your pet's nutritional health is in your hands. So when you're making a strict meal plan for your dog, cat, or ferret, it can feel like it's the end of the world when they stop eating or have a setback. When Matsu was about five months old, he suddenly became uninterested in his food. I thought it had to do with teething, but even blending up his food didn't help much. I swapped out different cuts and proteins, but that didn't seem to help either. He would just take a few bites here and there, and at the end of the day, I had about one third to one half of his food still untouched. I panicked a bit because it was a crucial time for growth, and I was worried this would affect his health. But after about a month or two, his appetite suddenly came back like it never left. And even though I was relieved, I was so confused. I started talking about it with other owners and realized many of them had similar experiences. And this is where I learned about selective eating during sexual maturity. During the adolescent period of life, our pets' bodies undergo a lot of physical and hormonal changes. And these changes can affect their behavior and even their hunger. So this story with Matsu is a perfect example of listening to your pet's body. Speaking of feeding adolescent pets, another tip I wish someone told me was to feed whole prey when they're young. Back when my ferret Guts was still alive, his favorite thing in the world was whole prey because he was weaned onto mice at just a few weeks old. As he grew, he developed a taste for every whole prey animal that I gave him. But with Tangy and Matsu, this wasn't the case. Whole prey is practically what us raw feeders try to mimic when formulating homemade diets. But because I was so focused on perfecting those homemade meals, ironically, whole prey was sort of pushed to the side. And it wasn't until they were practically adults that they tried it for the first time. Matsu would lick it a few times and just sit there and stare at me like, what now? And Tangy would just throw it in the air and play with it. It was frustrating that they didn't understand whole prey, but all along it was my fault for not introducing it when they were young. Now, I couldn't pick between two other tips, so I saved one of my biggest tips as a bonus at the end. But a tip that's almost just as important is getting a chest freezer early on. I saw raw feeders talking about their new chest freezer all the time online, but I swore I could store everything in my fridge's freezer just fine. This worked out okay when Matsu was a puppy, but as I became a more confident raw feeder, I started getting more obsessed with finding new and unique proteins and animal parts. Well, after this, I quickly began to realize that I couldn't keep this meat hoarding up unless I caved and got a chest freezer. And it was the best decision I ever made. All that space was amazing, and I no longer had to worry about frozen meat falling on my feet every time I opened the fridge door. I promise, once that obsession kicks in, you're gonna need it. And now, my bonus tip. Making yourself a reference sheet. Writing down small tips and notes about what you learn as you research is crucial. I did this a bit before Matsu came home, but once he was home, I got busy and forgot to add to it. Remembering the prey model percentages, the bone percentages of each meaty bone, the whole foods to balance the meal, the formulas on how to calculate calories, I mean, it's a lot. And a reference sheet would have really helped me out, especially during meal prep. Now, I know creating something like this can be time consuming and maybe even a little overwhelming. So I decided to create one for you, which is exactly what I needed back then. You can get your free cheat sheet in the link below. 